Hi everyone, today we share about moment. What is moment? It's a force made of object or depth or turn. So we also call it turning effect. First of all, the formula for moment is force multiplied the perpendicular distance. And second thing we need to know when the object is in balance or sometimes we call it equilibrium, have two conditions. One is sum of the clockwise moment equal to sum of anti clockwise moment. And another thing is resultant force equal to zero newton. Okay, let us see some example. What is so called perpendicular distance? Okay, for example, first we can see the pivot. Pivot means a support point, or also can say that it cannot move. The point which cannot move. Okay, the the perpendicular distance we always need to from the pivot to the force. Okay, this is our at D1, distance 1, and then distance 2 is here. If question said that this system is balanced, that means clockwise moment equal to anti-clockwise moment. So we can write in this form F1 D1 equal to F2 D2. That means anti-clockwise moment equal to clockwise moment. And second example, you see you have three forces which don't have the more pivot. And question may tell you calculate something about C. About C means C is your pivot. So you can imagine that the point C has a pivot. And later when we calculate, we don't bother about the F3 because the distance is zero. So where is the perpendicular distance, uh, perpendicular distance for the F1? It will be from pivot to F1. This is your D1. And where is your T2? T2 is, distance 2 is at here. Always from pivot to the force and form a perpendicular and the formula will be equal sm f1 d1 equal to f2 d2 okay now we see some example of partial question of igcc okay this is question 2018 you will notice that questions talk about talk at the moment about b so means that Point B here is a pivot. And then we analyze the question first. P, force P is a anti-clockwise moment, which is anti-clockwise moment. And where is the perpendicular distance? Perpendicular distance for P is 15. You need to remember, always from pivot to the force. And W, where is the distance? Distance will be here. How much is it? Because whole black is 2 meter. Weight acting on center of mass, so it's 1 meter. So moment of P is 1.5 P. 1.5 P. Now calculate the moment of W about B. The moment is force times perpendicular distance force for W is 210 distance is 1 so it's 210 newton meter 210 newton meter so now we calculate the force P because this system is balanced so clockwise moment equal to anti clockwise moment so F1 D1 equal to F2 D2 because just now we calculate the moment already so 1.5 P equal to 10 1.5 p equal to 210. So the p is 140 newton. 140 newton. Now we need to calculate the force q. Just now we use total clockwise equal to anti clockwise. Now we need to use upward force equal to downward force. That means resultant force equal to zero. Now we have two upward force and one downward force. 
So means Q plus P equal to W. Our P is 140 plus Q, we, which we don't know, W is 210. So we will get the Q equal to 70, zero, uh, 70 Newton. Here is question from 2017. This is a question. We analyze the question first. This is our pivot. So where is clockwise and anticlockwise moment? This one is our clockwise moment. And here is anticlockwise moment. And where is the perpendicular distance? One is 7, another one is 24. Because from pivot. And question asked for this force by the driver is how much? But the question give us is the pressure and area for the piston. So we need to calculate the force here. Pressure equal to force divided by area. Pressure is 5 times 10 power of 5 equal to force which we don't know. Divide by the area of 6.5 times 10 power negative 4, which from the question, which is force is 3 to 5 Newton for inside the piston. Now, we need to use F1 D1 equal to F2 D2 to calculate this force because clockwise moment and anticlockwise moment will be equal. This one is the force we don't know. Distance is 24 cm. And this one, 3, 2, 5. This one is 7. As long as both of them are in cm, don't need to change unit. So the force exerted by the driver will be 94.29 Newton. This is the answer. Okay, to the end of here, Basim have a bit technical problem. I will improve it as soon as possible. Please let me know any topic you want to discuss for Physics IGCSE. Thank you.